No more stolen sisters. No more abused sisters. No more raped sisters. No more murdered sisters. No more sisters left behind. When I say this, I'm not just speaking to the men. I'm also speaking to our sisters. We need healing. Our communities need healing. You all are here visiting our lands. We ask you to take part in that consciousness with us at this time. Before I hand the mic over to my aunt Serena Lee, who came to me and said that a couple months ago, she spoke to our powwow committee on the importance of this. And she drafted something so beautifully and so eloquently and she put it in our powwow flyer, our powwow booklet. Because it's not just about the women, but it's people. And before that, one of our clan mothers in the region reached out to the elders in the communities and asked us to step forward. To those that do not know, this entire month, we've been celebrating the green corn as we have for almost 400 years, starting with the Narragansett. August meeting. And so Shinnecock is the pinnacle, if you will, of this. So she asked us to work with our communities to make this happen. Know that that is not an easy task for women. So standing together, aunties, mothers, grandmothers, nieces, sisters, we did this together. It's the unity and the healing that has to take place within somebody, one person, to fix the cells in their body that produces healing frequencies through their body to work with other people to make that happen. But it's a challenge when our life and our presence is a threat. Our very life is a threat. Our presence is a threat. But when we are standing together here, as sisters, as clan mothers, as auntie moms, we are a force.
But it didn't take that way just from the women. We have strong warriors in our nations. They don't always come up and dance. They don't always come out to a powwow. They may not come to a tribal meeting. But we have warriors that we know that we can stand here and be comfortable. So I want to pass this to my aunt Serena Lee, who carried the red dress in. Hello everyone, I'm not going to be long-winded today. Those that know me know I can talk forever, especially when I'm passionate about something. Um, I just want to say that uh, I can look at this group of women and there's certain women that I'm not going to pull out, but I just want to thank you for getting straight through you and allowing you to pass on your wisdom to me regardless of you spoke to me or didn't speak to me. I usually sit back and I watch and I try to draw the energy from each woman or men for that matter. But I'm gonna take it up a notch and I, I know I probably shock everybody, but I'm standing here as a Get the Native American woman. I feel like I just came out, but I've been in it for 20 some years. And I say this in no disrespect to the powwow committee, or the people in the crowd, or religious beliefs, or any of that. I say that because a lot of these people that are missing just might be me. They might be gay because they feel they can't come out to their parents, or I'm gonna shock the world, or geez, I'm gonna be disrespected as a person. So I wanna leave you with this note. Look at your children, love your children, regardless of who they choose to be. Because that child that's missing is looking for love. They're looking because they can't go home. They're looking because they feel rejected. So love your children no matter what. No matter what. <laughs>